Good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's going to be my first video. Um, I hear if you're here, you obviously have checked out Facebook. I drew your attention here. I told you to come on here and check out a video. I want to show you something that I think is really cool. Um, welcome to my lantern cave, if you will. This is my lantern cave. I've got all my lanterns and stuff. Tons of Coleman stuff, tons of other brands. Um, but I'm not here to talk about Coleman today because we all know what Coleman is. What I want to talk about today is this lantern that's in this box. Um, this is from HC Lanterns in Pennsylvania. Um, and the reason I'm doing this YouTube video is because the guy who manufactures these, his name is Aaron King. He's an Amish individual, um, has his family there in um, Pennsylvania. And his family and him are the manufacturers of HC Lanterns in Pennsylvania. You want to take a look at the catalog? This is a catalog. You can get this online if you go into, um, onto, just Google HC Lanterns, you'll find this. Um, there's an address on the bottom here, obviously because Aaron's Amish, he doesn't have any sort of electronic devices like we do. So he does have a phone booth. Um, you can call this number down here, the 717-786-1049. He has a phone booth and he will has an answering machine in there. You can leave a message on there if you have any questions about his stuff. Whole catalog you can get into here. It has all the stuff that's in here. Um, everything in here, and I'm going to show you the lantern, I'm going to take it out of the box. This thing is impressive. So I had the chance to go out to the Coleman Gathering in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania a couple weeks ago. Um, had the chance to meet Aaron, meet his family, um, and I got to see these live in action. This is the HC Lightning Bug. Um, he also has a lamp that he makes it's called the, uh, the Firefly. This thing is massive. I'll give you an example. We all know that the 220E is a pretty tall lantern get an idea of size. That's a 220E. Here's a, a 236, which we as Coleman collectors could be considered to be pretty big. The lightning bug, I think, kind of dwarfs those lanterns. It is a massive lantern. The fount on it is the only part that is not actually manufactured um, in his own shop. They, he has a company do this for him. It's two pieces. The weld is absolutely perfect. Um, they pressure tested these, he told me, up to between 800 and 1,000 PSIs before they even started to bulge. The operating PSI on these lanterns is 60 to 80 pounds per square inch. On the back of the lantern, you can see it comes with a bicycle pump, so you actually would inflate this with a bicycle pump or even a, a compressor, and the operating PSI is between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. This lantern, if you've had any ability, has had the Nighthawk, um, it's absolutely just impressive the amount of light that this thing has. Two giant 111 size mantles, Peerless, Coleman, Petromax, you name it, um, can fit on this. The light output is just impressive. I have not obviously lit this one yet. It's brand new out of the box. I wanted to get you all's word into it. Aaron's a great guy. Like I said, he manufactures everything pretty much from this part up in his shop. It's handmade. It's American built. We all like American stuff. Um, and he's just a great guy. I want to get the word out about this. If you are a collector and you're serious about lanterns and you just enjoy this hobby, um, this is something I really feel you all need to grab and put in your collection. Huge font, two and a half quarts of kerosene. The other cool thing about this lantern is it's interchangeable. Um, you can run white gas on it or you can run kerosene. The only thing you have to change out is the generator. And as you can see, the generator is right there. You simply swap the generator out and you can change between kerosene and or white gas. The white gas doesn't quite have the performance that the kerosene does, but it's interchangeable. And if you have one readily more available than the other, you can use it and you can change it out. His catalog has got all types of spare parts in it, all different things that you can get. You can get spare vents, you can get spare glass, you can get any parts and pieces you need, new generators, new tips, new cups, um, all kinds of stuff. There's a really cool, um, there's a really cool carry case in it that has a drawer in it that they manufacture and build in house. They can do them in different finishes: pine, walnut, mahogany. Really, really cool stuff. There's furniture in here if you guys wanted to look in here for um, different types of cabinets that house. Um, uh, sorry, I'm having a little issue getting this thing open here. Cabinets that house 20-pound cylinders that have. Uh, plumbing inside of them to put propane lights inside of it. Really, really cool glass shades that his wife actually puts together. They get the shades and then they, you can choose what pattern you want. 
Um, really, really cool stuff, guys. If you're in, like I said, if you're into Coleman lanterns, if you're into any AGMs, you name it, um, this is something else that maybe some of you are not aware of. Because of him being Amish, I let him know that I would try to get the word out for him. If you guys got any questions for me, you can contact me on my Facebook page um, or you can comment in the section down below. Um, I appreciate your time, guys. I'm going to have this video on here just as kind of an unboxing. And I'll get another video on when we do a light up and try to give you an idea of how bright this is. Unfortunately, I know the video is never going to do it a true service. You have to see it in person to really see how bright this lantern is. If you like bright lanterns, I, uh, some people don't. Some people prefer the lamps and the things that are a little bit more somber. Uh, me personally, I always think the 237s and the 236s of the world and the Petromaxes are really bright. This thing puts them to shame. Thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. And if you got any questions, do comment in the section below. See ya.